Welcome back to the Chevrolet Top 20 Countdown. On the way, videos from the Ben Perry, Randy Hauser, Brad Paisley, Kira, Isabella, High Valley, and Little Big Town. And a little later, Amanda and Tyler Wilkinson, known professionally and collectively as Small Town Pistols, will be dropping by. But that's in the future. And according to those monks in Tibet, one must live in the present. And presently, Leah Daniels and Ryan Laird are here. Hello. 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 If we had an audience, they would be clapping right now. <laughs> one day I'll have an audience. <laughs> One day. How are you guys? Good. Good. Happy New Year. Thanks. Thank We're still you. saying that? It's getting a little late for that, isn't it? End of January? Yeah, I still write 2012, though. Do you? Yeah. On all your checks? Yeah. <laughs> on all your checks, you still write? Yeah. Uh, um, what's going on, guys? What's happening in the new year for each of you? Ryan, let's start with you. Making new music. Yeah. It's been uh, taking a little time off. To, I'm working on my next record. Yep. Been, re been recording and writing and back and forth between Ontario here and, and Nashville doing that. So. Uh, uh, Ryan Laird, there you are. Uh, there's no mistaking that you are on the cover of your record that is available yeah. now this is uh this is your seven track one you are on here with leah daniels yeah. your duet is on yes here yes yeah. okay so we'll get to that in a second yeah. but what's what's happening with you right now leah i'm kind of in the same boat as ryan right now i'm doing tons of writing writing yeah. for a new uh, new record so it's good it's it's exciting. it is exciting i guess new year new kind of outlook yeah fresh ideas all of that stuff is that why this this is a good time to do that stuff it's winter you kind of hibernate so. right there's not yeah. a lot of other stuff going on like it kind of the industry slows down a bit in january so it's a Touring good time in canada in the winter is yeah. interesting you know it's yeah uh, you get in the van and and you get stuck in a in a snow blizzard I tell you what, people need to be entertained, though. It's a good time to get out there and do it. They appreciate it if you make the effort. You get good songs out of it. I mean, yeah. getting stuck yeah. in a van in the middle of winter in Canada on a tour uh, definitely gives you inspiration for songs. Um, <laughs> we're going to talk a whole lot about uh, uh, you guys, your backstories and all of that stuff. But let's. Uh, there's a video for the song Where Do I Go, which is on this album that is available now online and in stores. Ryan Laird, there you go. Uh, where Do I Go? Tell me about where the song came from and how you guys ended up recording it together. Yeah. Well, it actually started, uh, I, it was actually supposed to be on my album, which okay. now is not out yet, and so it's on Ryan's album, so it's pretty funny, but um, I was working with my producer, Sam, and he came to me with this song that he'd written with Ashley Monroe, and I listened to it, and I really liked it, and I wanted to sing on it, and so I... Sam, Sam, who is Hunter Hayes' guitar yeah. player, yep. amongst other things. Yep. yep. I said, well, who, who should we get to sing on this? And, and at the time... Ryan, you were just coming out with your first album and that, and so Sam said, you gotta get together with Ryan, you gotta get him on it, I think your voices will blend really well together. And you sang on it, and it was awesome. I, was I remember coming over and, and we had pizza, and I was like, you're not really <laughs> supposed to sing when you eat pizza. But, but we ate a bunch of pizza, and, and Sam was like, hey, why don't we record that vocal on Where Do I Go? Because I love the song at that point. I, I loved yeah. Leah's voice and, and thought, you know, I was really excited to do the duet. I was, I was honored that they asked me. And, uh, but I just eaten all this pizza, and I'm like, are you sure we should record this right now? I mean, I mean, should yeah, why we? Are, are you, you supposed know? to not, because you have food in your mouth or because it's cheese? Well, I, I guess, like, dairy products aren't good for the, the vocal honestly, cords or something I like never that. I mean, I don't rules. know. It could be an old wives' tale or something. But. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that I'm mildly disgusted, we'll uh, watch the video. Uh, so where do I go? The video, the story, the story is? It's about a, a relationship ending, yeah. a breakup, and, and, like, where do you go once you lose that one person that was the constant in your life? We've all been there. Yeah. Let's take a look at the result of your collaboration. Here's Ryan and Leah and Where Do I Go on the Chevrolet Top 20 Countdown. You're the road that 
Go. I like that. Uh, where do I go? I like that note. Yeah. That it goes to that note, right in that song. Uh, it's a great song. A drop in melody. It's a great song. It, it, what's it called? I just called it a drop in melody. A drop in melody because because it's it, you know the first time I heard it I didn't think it was gonna go there. I like when I listen to a song and then and you don't, the melody takes me. You didn't to know where it was gonna go. I didn't quite. Why? Well, I, I mean, you're anticipating where you think it's gonna go because we're programmed. Right. We listen to yeah. so much music and then it takes you somewhere different yeah. and it's like oh that's pleasant. Right? Yeah. Very nice. So yeah. you guys love this song. You loved it the first time you heard it. You loved the, it was, uh, yeah. it spoke to you. Yeah. It, yeah. Yeah, it really did. It's, it's the first song that I've ever um, put out that I, I didn't actually write. And I mean, as a, as a writer, like I'm a songwriter and an artist, right? So it, usually I, I a little precious to, about that stuff? Well, I mean, it's nice to write your own songs because that, yeah. I have a personal connection to them. But yeah. in this case, you know, and especially after hearing yeah. Leah's voice on the original demo of the song that, you know, her producer played for me, I was just fell in love with it. And I was like, I... I know I didn't write it, but I really do want to be a part of that song, yeah. and, and especially having Lee on it. I mean, she sings it so well, and yeah. so I, I'm glad that we were able to, to put it together. It's a great song. Nice job. It is available on the CD right here. It's called Ryan Laird, uh, for obvious reasons. The tracks on there are available online and in stores now. More, more with uh, Leah and Ryan in moments. Back to the chart. Dean Brooks. Little Big Town, or as they say in France, Petite Grande Ville. And Tornado. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Number 15 impressive. this week on the Chevrolet Top 20. It's not that impressive. There's a thing on the internet. You just It translates right oh, away. Okay. Oh. You'd think I would already have known that. But, uh, uh, okay, so you guys are both in writing modes. Ryan, your album's out. Leah, your album is yet to come out. But you've had success with singles right here on this show mm -hmm. and uh, on radio and everything. Um, what, what kind of, what's the plan of attack right now? Is it uh, amass as many songs as you possibly can and then take them to people who yeah. apparently know? And, yeah. Yeah. And they decide. No. <laughs> but it's, it's weird. I kind of have this uh, number. I have to write 30 songs. That's okay. kind of around there. So it can be daunting. And... Because it takes a lot of... I bet you there's some math to that, though, right? I bet you there's, like, the, the executives have crunched some numbers in a boardroom and said, for every hit, you need to write so many on average or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the more I'm writing, the better they get, too. So yeah. it's... Why not build build that muscle? It's like a muscle, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I kind of yeah. think like well, I know when I'm writing for, for when I was writing for my record and stuff, and even writing for my new record, it's like about 95 percent of these songs I like to say become space junk. Do you guys find that, that when you're writing uh, uh, the ones there, if you're kind of having difficulty with something or you're kind of belaboring it, you're going over and over and over again, uh, uh, that you should just kind of let it go uh, because the ones that that tend to, to really grab people and connect with people are the ones that just seem to almost they're easier to write. You know what I mean? Yes and no. I don't know. I know we've talked about this before, but we're uh -huh. both slower writers. And not th that's not a bad thing necessarily, but we're very we're particular. Yeah. Take and your time. Yeah. Take your time with it. Cause I'll spend a month on a song. Yeah. I, I don't write a song. Like a lot of people in Nashville. You're like people. Axl Rose. <laughs> well, I don't know how Axl writes songs. We've never written. But Ten years, Chinese democracy. Is I <laughs> take me down to the paradise city? Is that <laughs> well, I think he wrote that one faster, but for obvious reasons. Probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll continue with that in a second. Still Welcome back to the Chevrolet Top 20 Countdown. On the way, videos from Randy Hauser, Kira Isabella, Brad Paisley, and the band Perry. The number one video from a decade ago, and Small Town Pistols in studio. Ryan Laird and Leah Daniels are here right now. Um, I heard not that long ago that Alan Jackson closed for you. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's an interesting way to put it. <laughs> That's the only yes, way to put it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I even went out to, to, to Hamilton. I, I got a chance to sit down and talk to Alan, and you mm. guys, you opened up for Alan yeah. Jackson. Yeah. Pretty cool. How did that all happen, and how was it? Well, my, my agent called me about six months before the tour and said, hey, Ryan, how would you like to open up for Mr. Alan Jackson? And I, my jaw dropped to the floor. I mean, I, I was obviously sure. blown away. I mean, what an honor. And I actually said to him, are you sure you're calling the right guy here? I mean, I, I don't think I'm 
I don't think I've had enough hits yet to be open up for Alan Jackson on his tour, but, but I, of course... Just say I, yes and hang yeah, up. What just do you say mean? yes and hang up, right? <laughs> so I, I was really honored and, and, of course, you know, said yes. Yeah. So uh, to get out there and do that was just an amazing experience. And then Leah and I, by that point, of course, had recorded Where Do I Go and everything. Right. And, and um, so we got talking and we just decided it would be a great idea to have her come out with me and, and join me on the tour. And... Uh, she came out every night and just sang her, sang her tail off, and, uh, and the crowd loved the duet. And I think part of that, the reason that Where Do I Go is now our current single and, and video and everything is because yeah. we debuted singing it together on that tour, and yeah. it went we so well. We got such a good response yeah. from everybody from that. So, I mean, a cool experience. I mean, for us, you know, getting to go out in front of thousands of people every night. I got to tell you, when you, know, you were performing, I was there. I went and I, I sat I kind of just side stage in the wings a little bit. And there you were. You weren't on stage yet, Leah. Uh, I, you were just there. You and you and your guitar. Yeah. That was it in front of that crowd of, I don't know, 17,000 or however many people right. were out there in Hamilton. Just you and a guitar by yourself, belting it out. And I thought, the nuts on that guy. <laughs> Incredible. Never forget that experience. Yeah. Yeah. What, what a cool experience. Brave, brave, brave. And we did it as a, I like to call it a one-man a one band kind of thing. I call it R2-D2. And it allows me to kind of like build a drum beat on the guitar. Yeah. I can kind of like lay down a chord progression, play my own solo. So it, it helps fill out the sound a bit. And then, of course, Evan Leah come out on the duet. You know, we did the harmonies mm -hmm. and stuff, and uh, it was just just a lot of fun. Good for you, man. Killer. More with Leah and Ryan coming up. Back to the. I'll have me some of that. The good boys from High Valley putting a little hop in your step. Love you for a long time. In at number twelve this week on the Chevrolet Top Twenty. They are followed by Emerson Drive, who finished the first half of our chart at number eleven with their Doc Walker partnership. Let it roll. Ryan Laird, Leah Daniels here. Uh, you guys are taking off, but before you do yep. the beat down a little beat down you ready for this rapid fire okay. rapid fire uh, uh favorite book or movie favorite movie let's start with that one pocahontas pocahontas it's a great movie yeah yeah, yeah. Love it. gladiator gladiator very good uh your first first job first job you ever had i was uh i worked at fergus computers as a computer technician if you can believe that or yeah, not yeah really and my people in the back there are going to be laughing right now. You're kind of an IT how... guy? No. No. <laughs> Not anymore. So is Fergus Computer still in business? <laughs> it's, it's really it. No. It? <laughs> no. There you go. Your first job. Uh, summer camps. Camp, camp counselor. Count Very good. First song you ever sang in front of an audience? A whole new world. Yeah? Yeah. It's pretty good. Come on, Mr. Taliman, tally me banana. I'm going to stop you right there. <laughs> Ryan, there you go. Your dream duet partner, other than, of course, Miss Daniels. Oh, Miss Daniels, of course. Um... I know you want me to say Taylor Swift. Uh, boy. That's hard, eh? That is a hard question. Just, I haven't found her yet, but I know she's out there. I will, I will just, we haven't had you on the show since this happened uh, uh, at the CCMAs. You finally did get a chance to talk to Taylor. After all, if you remember the story, Ryan Laird and the billboard across from Taylor, kind of stalkery, but we're all good with that now. You did finally get a chance to bump into her, and her mom knew who you were, and Taylor knew who you were at everything at the CCMAs, right? They were very sweet, genuine people. Yeah. That's about all I could say. I, I was sitting a few rows back at the... CCMA Awards this last fall, and uh, Taylor was up up a few rows ahead of me. And just during a commercial break, I walked up to her. Very dangerous thing to do, by the way. I know she has security all over. Her, right? I can't yeah. believe. It. I mean, yeah. <laughs> what happened to Ryan Laird? He's supposed to be presenting an award. Oh, he tried to say hello to yeah. Taylor Swift. Stuck my hand out. I was gonna say, Hey, this is who I am. I don't yeah. know if you remember me or whatever, but I mean, before I could even open up, oh, say a word, I mean, she she said Ryan, and yeah. I mean, recognized me. And, I mean, what a cool thing for for her to. Anyway, she just seemed like a really nice uh, nice girl, and uh, she's doing was, very well. Doing very well, of course. It was, it was nice to meet her. So. Good stuff. Uh, Ryan, where can we find you? Online? Yeah, RyanLaird.com. Yep. Um, and Twitter, at RyanLaird. Okay, we know yeah. you're the social media queen. Yeah. You're pretty good at that stuff, Leah. Well, yeah, you know, find you can find me. Where can we find your album and all that? Yeah, LeahDaniels.com. But if you just Google search Leah Daniels, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. The album is Ryan Laird. They're both on there. Uh, congratulations, guys. Thanks for being here. Still to come, Small Town Pistols drop by and videos from Randy Hauser, Brad Paisley, and Kira Isabella. She's up next, the Chevrolet Top 20 countdown. We'll be right back. Thanks, guys. It was fun. Thank you.